Secrets readers, it's Carlo again at CDN 2024 at the amazing, insane Berlison Trinov Avicina Acoustica and all that crazy, awesome demo that we were at earlier. And we are here with Richard Latovsky from Mad VR Labs. And Richard, thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us, man. Great to see you again, Carlo, here out at CDN. And I hear you guys are introducing a new NV processor that is more approachable for, for the video enthusiast. Yeah, that's right. So with the here today is the MB Core. Right. The MB Core is half the size, half the weight, half the price of the MB Pro. Right. A third of the price of the MB Extreme, but at the same performance level. So what we've done is we've removed certain features to yeah. be able to hit this price point, but at the same time, we've not affected the performance of what features are supported. So for example, this supports our upscaling, supports our dynamic tone mapping, all the aspect ratio management, nonlinear stretch, really the subtitle handling, all the core features that you come to expect of, which is where Head this gets its name. But yet, the video processing that it does provide, same quality level. If we switch back and forth between the two, you wouldn't see any difference between the tone mapping of the, the Extreme versus the MB4. Wow, All right. that, that's amazing. It's like, wow, can we, uh, can we see maybe some examples of what, uh, what, it, what it can do? Yeah, sure, so um, I'll, I'll start by showing you the, what you can do as far as use on a TV, because sure. we've been taking a lot of pre-orders and we always ask what display are you pairing it with? And we're seeing a lot of ultra short throws, a lot of entry level projectors, but surprisingly, a lot of people pairing these with OLEDs and flat screen panels such as 65, 75, or okay. 77, 87 inch, and so forth. So for example, the, the three most important features probably for TVs are, are HDR dynamic tone mapping. It's gonna ensure that every pixel is rendered perfectly, including making sure that you're not crushing any whites and not crushing any blacks. But that's right. really big, because that's something that these, uh, that most OLEDs and Flat, flat screens will tend to blow those things out along with the colors. So, you know, it's supposed to be like a deep saturated green or maybe like a lime, kind of bright lime green, and it just, everything goes white. Right. right? So that's a big thing. The other thing is upscaling. We're still watching a lot of 1080p here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Thanks to broadcast television. Mm -hmm. You know, we're lucky if we get maybe one 4K <laughs> game, you know, right. for, for, uh, for a weekend. So it's important, you know, like otherwise, my set-top box from the cable company, tiny little box, mm -hmm. is doing upscaling the 4K. I think not. I'd much rather have the Envy doing the upscaling to 4K. Absolutely, yeah. Right, so that's a big deal. And the other thing, too, is managing nonlinear stretch on TVs to get rid of or minimize the black bars. Right, so right. for example, we happen to have this pulse right here. So if I push this little button here, it's programmed to ton turn our nonlinear stretch on and off. Right. So we go ahead and turn it off. You'll see this is the black bars, and this is what you can do without it. Okay, now. This is the best Marvel ad ever. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> now, what, what is important to note is that you typically would not fill the whole screen like this. Right. So this particular frame that we have to pause on is an excellent example for this. But normally we would probably go down to about you know, half, uh, the, remove about half the black bars and right. everything can still look perfectly natural. Nice. Right, so we're seeing a lot of people pairing this with TVs for those core benefits because here you go through this and people say like, hey, I paid for a big TV, right. now I'm watching a movie, why, why do I have why these, these black bars? This dead space that I'm not using, yeah. Right, so all the core features, like we've just mentioned, that are you find in the MB Extreme are also in the core. Big differences between the Extreme, of course, are things like our Motion AI, which is highly coveted motion interpolation, first such in a video processor. Um, it does some really cool things and allows you fine level control over the soap opera effect. So sometimes you can just add just a pinch to get a little bit of control, right. or you can really soup it up, if that's how you like it, to get that extreme detail and clarity. If you like being motion sick, yeah, that's fine. But yeah. a different story. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing, too, is, you know, like for another example, like the Ambi Extreme is paid upgradable, right? Mm. So in the future, we can swap cards, things like that, to keep the current hardware, or to say to keep the hardware current, whereas with the MB Pro, 
and the MB Core, you know, that's the that's you know what you that's buy, the and that's the, that's, that's the model, yeah. right? And if yeah. the MB Pro comes with the uh, MB uh, Core comes with a two-year warranty. So now nice. we have something called the Core Premium package is available directly from MBR Labs. It's an aftermarket option, uh -huh. right? So for example, if you get the MB and you play with some additional features, like oh wow, this is a really cool feature, like our dynamic subtitle overlay, mm -hmm. where we're going to be removing the subtitles from the black bar area and putting them back onto the screen. So we don't even have to shift the image like we do now. What we do now is a great solution, right? but this is going to be even better for better, subtitle right. management. So for example, that's a feature that requires a core premium. So you'd be able to go into the menu and choose, you know, uh, upgrade the core premium, take you to a website, you put in a credit card and it just unlocks you and you're, you're off to the races. And you also, the core premium doubles it from a two-year warranty to a four-year warranty. So there's other benefits in that as well. Wow, very nice. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. This is a right. So right now, this is a clip from 1917. This is a pretty extreme example. Mm -hmm. They're not always this extreme. Right. Um, but you can see the trees as I turn motion AI on and off. And that's, that's off. Oh, that's wow. on the landscape, fluttering, and now it's back on. Now this again is on the high level. We don't necessarily yeah, recommend watching it at this. Um, however, the clarity and the detail really is striking. I go back off and you can just see, now it sort of has a, a look that, you know, is, is more like, almost like an instability. Like yeah. if you, do you, are you able to see that? Yep. And you don't really notice it, I'll put it on a couple different modes. You know, so you don't really notice it, now it's back on. So you don't notice it until you see it the other way, and then you can decide what's, re what's best for how you like the watch. Exactly. So on the hardware front, we've got four 80 millimeter fans lined up across the front. Put your hand on there for me, if you will. Absolutely. Ah, no, just kidding. Look at that. That's super, okay. Yeah, and wow. it's this thing has been running, you know, for probably I don't know, 10, 12 hours today as, okay. as we're at toward the end of the day. Man. So it runs super quiet, super cool. It allows us to do like more flexibility. Like you can install it in a bookshelf or you know in a cabinet. I wouldn't necessarily recommend closing it right. and there shutting the door some, on it. Some level of airflow. Yeah, you want to get something, but it's a lot more flexible than. The MVs in the past. Gotcha. Right. Gotcha. So it's a really great thing here. It's hard to see the rear of the unit. I don't know if your camera can capture this. Oh yeah. You know, but this is going to be the MV Extreme in the back and here. So you've got, you know, your one input, a zero latency pass through, and your output. So typically, all you do is you put this in line between the display and the um, the audio processing. Nice. Right. Wow. So that's really key. Um, these brochures also, these are available from mavirmb.com. If you want the digital version, just go on there and you click on sales okay. brochure and you have all the details and it covers a lot of the, a lot of the benefits on there. Now, I'm uh, curious, so, I mean, how, just I, I don't, this is a sideline, I'm seeing a lot of your processors in a lot of different places around CD. I mean, you, you guys have a heck of a footprint around here. Yeah, yeah, uh, thanks for mentioning that. Th there's uh, probably about a dozen MVs being used throughout the show floor here at Cedia. Jeez, so, please. you know, here it's being used in the, in the main Trinol Theater along with our other partners mm -hmm. and the Barco Nerthus uh, projector. I don't know if you've been in that room, that's just a yep. beautiful image. Oh, yeah. um, so, the MVs doing the video processing powered in there and across several of our other partner sites, as mentioned, throughout the show Very floor. Very nice. So, Very it's nice. been really a great show. We've been crazy busy. Um, you know, just trying to stay hydrated and uh, yeah, trying, to, trying to stay fed. I'll and it. so it's always a little bit tricky, but it's been really great. I don't doubt it. Man, that's that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Now this, I, I just I just love the, the fact that you guys have gone from like a full-on initial balls to the walls <laughs> processor and then brought it down to, you know, really intelligently and carefully brought it down to a a, a a point where it's more more approachable for the for the video enthusiast and you know who may not need every single you know you know bell and whistle that the, that the big one offers right That's great. Yeah. right That's and really great. and you know you bring up a great point so a lot of people ask us you know what was behind this right so 
largely we wanted to be able to have a good solution for the enthusiasts and the DIY crowd. After all, all of us Mavior guys are enthusiasts and DIY guys ourselves. This is how we got into it. This is why it's our passion, it's our hobby. Mm -hmm. And so the key was being able to do it at half the size and half the weight, mm -hmm. but also, like we mentioned earlier, keeping the same level of performance. Okay. Right. So that's what really was important to us. So it's not like, oh, well, this does toe mapping at a higher level than this. No, you're going to get basically the same experience out of both. So it's just a matter of functions. If on our website, there's a whole uh, guideline, that, a document that shows every feature by feature what is available in the core, core premium pro and extreme and how those models are different from one another. Now forgive me if, I, if you already mentioned this, but what's what's the price difference between, between each one? Yeah, so this is $16,000 MSRP, right? and the MV uh, core is $4,995 through the end of the year, introductory nice. price, yeah. And it's available now? It is going to be available soon, so okay. we are shipping in the fall 2024. Very nice, outstanding. If you listen very, very carefully, you might hear all sorts of uh, construction going on uh, <laughs> in, in, in assembly for the product. Oh man, I'll bet, I'll bet. But well done, man. That's this is a uh, one heck of a one heck of an accomplishment. Yeah, thank you. Um, you know, it's something we've really been wanting to do for a while now. The trick was how do we hit a price point that can make sense for consumers, make sense for the dealers, and make sense for us without sacrificing quality. I mean, that's at the end of it because we could have done something a lot less expensive, but cut corners in different places. We really want to make sure that we deliver the Manvr MV brand and video processing quality that's synonymous with what we've achieved. Very cool, very cool. Well, Richard, thank you so much for the time, man. I really yeah, do appreciate yeah, no, it. Yeah, my pleasure, Carlo. Always great to see you. Thank you for having us. No problem. Great to see you too, sir.